Welcome back. Well, it was a beauty out there today. If you like temperatures in the mid 80s, 86 degrees this afternoon, just two degrees shy of the all time record that was set just last year. So we have been seeing warmer Novembers, but recent Novembers, we've also had some pretty cold weather as well. Last year we had freezing temperatures in November. I don't see that happening, but maybe in December. We'll see. A morning start at 60 degrees. That's uh, 8 degrees above normal, so 12 above for highs and 8 above for lows and more of the same next couple of days. So let's take a look at that upper level pattern because we're going to see a change in the pattern uh, courtesy of this big upper level trough that is entering the western U.S. It's going to be a snowstorm across the northern tier of states uh, through New England and eventually uh, this tail end of this trough is going to bring a front on through, dislodge this nice mild and warm high across the area and we'll see cooler temperatures but we're also going to see more cloud cover and some rain chances and even if it's not raining it will look like it's going to rain get ready for uh, several days of cloudy skies right now though all the weather up across the northern tier of states here locally generally fair to partly cloudy skies high pressure edging over more toward Apalachicola meanwhile we have low pressure up here in eastern Colorado pretty tight pressure gradient so winds picking up a little bit and that hopefully keeps fog at bay for tonight same goes for tomorrow night also depends on cloud cover but that won't be a problem tonight generally you want fair skies for fog formation might see that tonight tomorrow night looks like more clouds coming in and maybe just enough of a wind as well temperatures tonight will bottom out in the mid 60s around daybreak right around 70 but notice as we head into the afternoon it's going to be a breezy day it's going to be a partly to mostly cloudy day with intervals of sunshine like the last couple of days. Temperatures topping out 82 to 84 again tomorrow. Here's the latest graph model run. And now that we have the time change, we get the very latest run coming in just before showtime. Mid 60s again tomorrow night and then into Thursday, more cloud cover. So we'll call it a mostly cloudy day. We'll hold temperatures in the lower 80s once again. And then here comes this front going into Friday morning. Uh, it is in northwestern sections of Cadiana. And notice all the precipitation on the backside of the front. Uh, we'll get into the mid 70s and then we'll begin cooling into the afternoon with patchy rain across the area through the afternoon and into the evening hours and Friday night football. Here we are at seven o'clock Friday night, upper 50s with a little bit of a wind chill as well. North winds and some misty light rains or drizzles out there and we might see more rain developing as we head into Saturday as well. The European model suggesting and so does the GFS. There's going to be rain around us, uh, maybe not right over us, but we got to go for some rain chances this weekend and then early next week models diverge uh, between the euro bringing heavy rains and storms to southern Louisiana whereas the GFS has all this mess out in the Gulf of Mexico so we got to wait for model guidance to get in better agreement to make a more accurate forecast we can say this though a quarter maybe a half inch of rain through the weekend this is the European model then the European goes off on its merry way uh, giving us a big soaking uh, but the latest GFS the latest two runs of the GFS model holding off on the big rains going not much through the weekend not much into next week as well but if we move it on out here into the Gulf of Mexico there you see that hot spot again close by but not quite here but we do think it's going to be a big pattern change and as we take a look at the rainfall estimates from the weather prediction center this is a division of NOAA and uh, we got maybe about a half inch in southern Louisiana this is through seven days through Tuesday so that Tuesday weather system's not in this mix and you can see the heavy rainfall offshore out in the Gulf of Mexico up to seven inches of widespread heavy rainfall. Upper Texas, mid Texas, lower Texas coast may get a big soaking and we're close by. We could get a soaking as well. Not overtly in the forecast for right now because we just don't have confidence in the forecast uh, beyond six to seven days. Overnight tonight, light fog. It's thicker off to the east over toward Mississippi and uh, again tomorrow night, maybe some light fog in the mix. There could be a few trouble spots and again, we had trouble spots this morning where there was another fatality due to uh, dense fog mixing with smoke. Uh, so they call it super fog. It's just super reduced visibility. So you got to slow down when you're out there in the fog. Temperatures low to mid 60s for your morning uh, commute in the northern parishes, mid 60s, I-10 quarter and low to mid 60s across the coastal parishes. And then for tomorrow, mid 80s, Alexander got up to 88 today, record high for them. They'll be close to that again for tomorrow. More sunshine there. 
More high clouds we think down along the coast, so temperatures closer to the low to mid 80s for the I-10 quarter and down across the coastal parishes as well. 64 the overnight low tonight with fair to partly cloudy skies and again some patchy fog late. A little bit of a breeze out there. You can see the leaves are still rustling even at this hour. Then a nice warm one. It's a breezy afternoon with a sun and cloud mix. 83 for the projected high. Your rain chance 5% tomorrow, maybe 10% on Thursday. And then we get into the weekend and beyond. Lots of cloud cover and rain chances, at least low end rain chances beyond Friday into Saturday. That'll be our best chances for getting the ground wet. Not a whole lot of rain, but some and maybe a soaking as we head into next week and an unsettled week ahead. Lots of cloud cover in that.